Hey how's it going ladies and bruises, I'm Bobby Six Killer and welcome back to Moon Remix RPG Adventure, possibly for the final time on the channel. Hard to say really because we're very close to finishing this one up. The Drum Hum Daily Special Edition. The missing hero, Bobby. Thought to be approaching the Dragon Castle, his whereabouts are not known. Find the hero, find the hero, find the hero. But yeah, uh, we're very close to um, finishing. I think we've got one more rock apart to find and I'm assuming that is the big goal. Um, I'm not sure how that actually helps the situation, but that's not my problem, really. <laughs> now we know we need alcohol for this last one. Oh, here comes a little ducky dude through the... You're the one who lives in the cage. You're a bird. Of course you live in a cage. You're a fucking duck thing. Rainbow duck. Let's go talk to the rainbow duck. Yo, yo. Evening, Bobby buddy. You're out late. How you getting along? Oh, can't get enough love. Hey, want some pointers? So, let's say you see a carcass. Somebody nearby, that animal soul's gotta be fluttering. What you wanna do is snatch it, catch it quick. What else? Oh yeah, talk to everybody. If somebody says something good, look into it, investigate. And if someone asks you something, make a note. Humans forget everything, so you gotta take notes, okay? I, I'm doing that. Well, that's all I got. Come on, help me out. Have you got nothing else for me? I'm getting by. I hear you, buddy. Sometimes all we gotta do is the best we can. I started my business three years back. Long time ago, I got a letter from the king and I set up shop here. Hey, have you ever thought about traveling? Hey, if you ever want to go on a trip, I'll take you. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. All right, let me take down your reservation. I'm going to get you a good seat. Yeah, this is going to be a good trip. Meet you in front of my office tomorrow at sunrise. And we're off, all right? You could always just loiter right here until morning, if you wanted to. Remember, if you're late, I'm going to cancel your reservation, so don't miss it. Well, you know what that means. Loitering time. I'll bring you back once we're done loitering. Interesting, so we've got a whole new place to go. We never got a chance to look at the map again for a while. I'm curious to see what areas we have and haven't covered yet. I feel like we've been a lot of places now. But yeah, we're, this might be the last episode because we're going to get the last of the rocket parts and then blast off into space. Um, like I said in the last episode, I'm not going to 100% on the channel unless for some reason it all of a sudden can't starts getting lots of views because at the moment it gets basically no views um so i'd like to just get it done and 100 percent it in my own time because i think it's a fantastic game fantastic i'm so glad that they decided to translate it to english and port it um onto pc and switch and whatever else it's on that's great it's great we need more of that especially like unlocalized games especially japanese i suppose because japanese have the most uh, sort of region specific games because they have such a big market for games in their country as well so they can sort of sell to their own and uh still make a good good living whereas other countries like where i live uh if you made it well, i mean we speak english here mostly but um <laughs> but you know what i mean if you're in a small country uh, that doesn't have a big market for games but you don't speak english um you kind of have to go worldwide to try and make that money otherwise you're not going to be making a making a return on that uh work you know what i mean whereas japan you don't have that problem they got a lot of people in their country and games are all popular so yeah i guess it depends where you're from but it's nice that they're starting to bring these things over i'm still hoping for that uh yakuza ishin and uh what's the other one kenzen these the samurai ones Man, I really want an English localization of that. Get on that, Sega. Get on, on PC, please. Not PlayStation. PC. English. Thank you. That's my order. Morning, kid. Welcome to the Yoshida Travel Agency. I didn't even have to cut. I just kept talking. Attention, please. Attention. This is the final boarding call. All aboard to go abroad. Okay. What do you want me to do? Are we going by cage? Paging passenger Bobby. Your group is boarding. We're the only person. Your estimated time of arrival is the morning after tomorrow. That's one and a half rotations of the clock. Are we going to die? Setting calls for Bali Bali Arden. Let's a go. One and a half rotate. Do I have enough energy for that? Am I going to die? 
Today's weather forecast looking good. <laughs> It seems dangerous. A little travel does one warm and well. Nice V formation you got going on there. Reduce the drag, you know. This is your first voyage? A little travel does one warm and well. All clear on the right, all clear on the left. That's not much of a formation. Go back into the V formation, there you go. How long is it going to take? One and a half. Does it actually take one and a half rotations? Am I actually just going to sit here for one and a half rotations? That's quite long. Yep, this guy is kind of boring. <laughs> you would say that you're a bird. Want me to sing a song? Yeah, man, go ahead. The journey. So long, the world so small. Little Tweety. Tweet, tweet, tweet through life. Today a tweet tweet, tomorrow a two a tweet tweet. Little Tweety lives to tweet. How about that? I mean, I'll take anything at this point. That right there was an improvisation. That's about how we should all just be ourselves, all the time. I'm proud of it, to be honest. He's like me, he can just talk shit all day long. <laughs> Except he's got more pauses between his talking than I do. Hey now. It's cracking my style. Attention please, attention police. If you look to your right, you'll see the famous Moon World constellation Seven Dragon Stars. It dates back to a legend from long, long, long ago. Long, long ago, there was a dragon god that guarded the blue sky door. They say about this dragon god. That one day, with a great screech, the blue sky door closed. And didn't open, even after a hundred years. The dragon god in utmost sadness wept for a thousand years, so the story goes. And that's why there's seven stars. The red one is, the t is his teary eye. He's got pink eye. To speak of the constellations is to speak of immemorial times. The stars sure are a profound mystery, yeah? That's your first, this your first long voyage? Yes, you asked me that already. Well, I mean, the sky is very pretty now. It is actually going to take one and a half rotations of the clock. In real time. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to skip ahead or anything, we're going to have to wait. Oh, hey, dude. Is this where you're from? Over here. Can we get back, though? If we get back, will it take one and a half rotations of clock to get back? Oops, we got snow or rain, I think? All clear on the right, all clear on the left. Because we won't make it back. We can make it there, but we can't make it back. Very impressive. There's some loud rain. So, how's everybody doing? There's a cat just crawled in between my legs. Hello. Bobby O'Pearl, land ahoy, over there, Bali Bali Olin. Attention passengers, this is your captain speaking. We will shortly arrive at our destination. Grip them cage bars tight. This, the ropes are gone, are we gonna fall? What kind of landing do we make? I'm worried about the sound of that. Just dump us in the water. A whole new area we haven't explored yet. That's exciting. We have arrived. Please enjoy a meaningful respite. I'll come get you in a little bit, friend. Okay, we still have more than a day to go, luckily. So hopefully we can get whatever we need to do done. Whatever that is. 
It's gonna be something. Let's go find someone to talk to, I suppose? Wait, is there anywhere even to go? Hello? Is there nowhere to go? Am I stuck here? Oh, that is interesting. It's been a while. Since a person... came to this here island. My name is Ma Made Suma. This is Bali Bali Island. The island the time doesn't remember. An island of everlasting summer. Throw away your uncivilized clutter and such. Oh, we have no time, so there's no time now. I came here to this island to learn. The Gaimalan. Gaim. Gaimalan? It is a wonderful instrument. The signal monkeys on this island have wild skill, are very adept at this instrument. But now, they lack one member. I wish I could join. But, I could never because. It's too hard for me. You. Try your best. It will give me confidence to see you fail. <laughs> Thanks. Come here, sit down. If you want to hear an example, I have a tape. So just tell me. That sounds hard. <sighs> no daydream. Your cue again. Look. I don't even know how to play. What do I do? Do I tap buttons? I see, I see. So we just have to do it in time. Is that all? Let's do this. Okay. For someone who started today, you did pretty good. However, you will fail the next song. Even I can't do this one. Hear the tape. Do I have to start over if I fuck it up? Oh man. No way. I'm the middle one, right? It's gonna be hard, man. It's gonna take a long time, but we're gonna get it eventually. Yeah, I know, I was too fast, I know. Yes, 4, 7, and 11 are the, the beats. 4, 7, and 11. I give up. I'm worthless. I suppose you can play. Is next one too? Hear it. I'm gonna run over the tape a few times. Do it again? Every second one. Every second one is our middle one. Starting at two. I'm ready.
That was an easy one. Give me another one. Ah, I thought so. No doubt this will be easy too. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> Fucking brutal. Alright. Okay. Uh, tape again. Right, okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Three, six, nine, twelve, and then fourteen. Just, just to mess it up. Alright, alright, let's do it. Oh, I didn't do nine. My bad. My bad. It was nine. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's do it again. I wasn't paying attention. Or, I mean, I was, but it clearly wasn't good enough. <laughs> I was too slow on the 14. It's too slow on the 14. Do it again. Do it again. I'm not good at music puzzles. Evidently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <sighs> That's probably enough. Just stop. That um song was definitely the hardest. One. Your skill at the Geimlin is like a monkey's. It starts with guy, is it like a vagina instrument? <laughs> it's okay, dude. You're good. I'm not. I'm so not good. I need more practice. I need to start all over. I have no talent whatsoever. I suppose I can try. Trying is what you gotta do, man. Come sit over here. How about you have a seat? Oh, you are so great. What is that? It's not a big monkey rock. That's the thing we need for the rocket. I knew you would. Come here. It was written on a stone I found. Yes, it was. I was so famous and great. A hard, inedible stone. <laughs> we don't need this. You must take it. Yes, it was. Oh, you are such a master. I feel like I'm being sarcastic all the time. Story of a fallen boy. I better check that out. Well then, from now on. Soon is the ceremony to celebrate divine Gaima the music. Yes, it was. Heck. Oh, look. It's signal liqueur. Heck. How wonderful. Wasted on the beach now. This guy's such a pessimist. Oh man. We actually did get wasted on the beach. I'm back for you, buddy. Whoa, what happened? You don't look so hot, friend. Come on, get a hold of yourself, man. Sorry, dude, I'm wasted. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's see what love you've gathered today, Wolfie. Matasumo was feeling low. You motivated him. I don't know about that. Congratulations. Your love is deep and further. You have reached love level 23. Love graduate. For your next level, you need seven more love. That's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll collect a lot of it. Don't you worry about it. Actually, we're going to wrap this one up soon. Although, there's a couple of uh, critters I still need to get. Oh, cool. That's the thing we need for the rocket. Anyway, signal liqueur. Yeah, there's a couple of critters I still know how to get quite easily, so I'm going to go quickly wrap those up. Um, 
before we take everything back to the rocket, because I presume as soon as we hand over the last part of the rocket, game over. So I'll bring you back. Alright, let's check here again. This guy's still not up and about. I don't know how to make this one get up and about. Sacred Riding View. Wait, what does it say again? Accommodating spirits. Conforming its outward appearance to match local vegetation. So it looks like a tree. White feathered arrow. What the hell's that for? Didn't someone mention one of those already? A, a barn? Didn't find anything. Okay. Well, I'd say we got a pretty good haul out of that one, to be fair. I'm pretty sure this white feathered arrow has been mentioned before as well. I don't know what it does, but I'm pretty sure someone mentioned a white feathered arrow. I can't do anything with it. Eat it! Use. Maybe I can shoot somebody with it. Ah! Well, there you go. Oh, there's another corpse here. There's more than one? Nice. Alright. Let's add as many as we can to the, um, pile before we take in those last rocket parts. We're getting there. Oh god, a big one. Why is he two? That one's just a giant version of the last one. It's like the mum. It's like grizzly bears. <laughs> Good luck picking that up. Oh yeah, well you did pick up a whale before, I forgot about that. So you're probably alright. Two more. Shit, we might even get a love level up. And we got that one that uh, by the fireworks. We'll head there. I forgot to ask this guy what he sells. How do these things keep popping up everywhere? I got some sleep. Oh, good. I took a nap. I feel good as heck. I want to buy. Cave guy shop? I'm selling it all. What you looking for? I don't know. You're not selling it all. You're selling Octolips. What the hell is that? It's a cute little Octolips. Sure, I'll take it. Oh, that's the... Nanko? That's the thing that grabs the animals. Hmm. Alright, we're almost perfectly in time for this one, but it's gonna take a little while, so I'll cut here and I'll bring you back. Because it's about two ticks on the clock before the firework comes out. We don't want to get hit by it, we just want to see it, and that'll make this, uh, this guy here's spirit appear. Because we've seen it every time we've gone in, I just haven't been able to grab it because I've been going into the Hit. And the one time I did have a chance, I missed it because I'm an idiot. So yeah, this is another, there you go. This is going to be another easy one. Boom. Right, that's another one. Let's grab in a few of these easy ones that I should have done yonks ago. Alright, after this we're going to head to the haunted house. Grab that money from that other one that we did before. And see if we can do some of the others that are in there that because I've only done like one or two. So I'll see what else I can find. I'll bring you back once you get to the haunted house. We should wait and see if this elephant comes down at all. I bet if we're just patient because I don't know any, unless we shoot it with that arrow. I don't think that's going to work though. Has wings that allows it to glide. Cannot fly for long periods of time. So maybe, like I thought last time we came through, maybe we just have to wait for it to get tired. Although it's the middle of the night. Maybe we should do it during the day when he seems a bit more active. We'll come back. First we'll head into the... into the house. Grab whatever we can. 500! Hell yeah! None of them have been worth that much. We got that dirt one that we still haven't grabbed. That one that hangs out the doorway we haven't grabbed. I think that's it inside. Well, I can't remember exactly. This one here it always disappears when you come down the stairs. Okay, there it is. And then as soon as you get to the bottom of the stairs, it disappears. Except it didn't, the summer just stayed there and waited for us. What? Every other time I come down the stairs, it immediately disappears as soon as I get to the bottom. Crazy. Rock. Rock you. Well, there you go. Another two. That's 160 yen right there. Alright, let's uh, try this one 
the pure pure one, pure of heart or pure of body or something. I thought it had something to do with taking a dump, because it's right next to the toilet room. I need to take a dump and then wash my hands. Let's try that. Because we took a dump before, but we didn't wash our hands, so maybe we're not pure anymore. We can wash our hands. Oh. That worked. I don't know if they actually changed anything, because I just couldn't stand in the right position without automatically going in the door. It might have just been that I was standing in the wrong place last time. Gajiro. Thank you. Alright. Hell yeah, we got a bunch today. Right, I want to try and get that elephant now. That's, that's all that's left here, eh? Oh wait, there's this one. The train one. Shit. Give me something about the two o'clocky. Was a train conductor long ago? Still a train enthusiast. Goes bonkers when the train's about to depart. Maybe it's like at two o'clock. We got a clock here, but I don't think that works. You could say two o'clock on my. Um, on my clock though, like where the white arrow is right now, that's like one o'clock, right? So, one notch over from there. I'll wait until then, and I'll bring you back. Because I don't have any better ideas, but I say we wait until like two o'clock. I don't know whether you'll hang out here though, or in there, by his corpse. Guess we'll see. Got him! Two o'clock, baby. That's everybody in the haunted house, I'm pretty sure. Uh, except for that elephant, who's kind of in the haunted house, or well, between the haunted house and the mushroom forest. Kind of. In between these. Alright, we're gonna go uh, check that elephant now. Might have to wait around for that one a while. I'm ready. Come and get me. Yes! Yes! I didn't know we were going to be able to get him, but we got him. We got him. Oh, that one was tricky, man. I had to stay here all night to do that. Good god damn. You better pay well. Pays well on love. Doesn't pay well on Yenim, though. Alright, we better go... Alright, we should rest up on our way back to Hager's lab, seeing we got all that love to cash in. Also, I bought up most of Boone's uh, record collection on the way here. Not all of it, because I didn't have enough money, but most of it. So we have most of the songs in the game now. <laughs> Let's see what love you've gathered today. Cave Guy was able to get some sleep. That is love, this is love, and the love from the souls of the animals. Cy Cyclophant. Gardiero. Pampoo. Two O'Clocky. Rock you. Ovon. Hovon. Gentle Meister. Congratulations. Your love has deepened further. You have reached love level 25. Love CEO. Four more love for the next one. Love CEO. Alright, not bad. Not bad indeed. Let's uh head on out then to Hager's lab and see what happens. Hey, hey, hey. Oh yeah, the slate. Not Tower's slate. What was the other one? That one. Minister's treasure? No, it wasn't that one. That one? Sariva Fallen Boy. That was the one. Go. We fall, rocket take off. Cannot decrypt. It makes sense to me. We fell in through the TV and now we're going back out with the rocket? I guess. Here. Hmm. Signal liqueur, you say? You mucus dripping see through rube. Any other nonsense you could bring me would be better than this. Oh no, wait a moment. You fool, you've done it. No, now you've really done it. I mean, that is a compliment. I mean, you've done it. You've done a good thing. 
but he might consider this. a lot of well done, you don't. Thanks. That should be everything we need. Rocket complete. Ta da! Construction progress 100%. Our moon surface exploration probe is complete. I thank you violently. <laughs> the preparations to launch the rocket are already complete. Now we can blast off to the moon. Kaboom! And then the moon. Well, this left is for you to get in the cockpit. Oh, how have I li how I've longed for this day? <laughs> my tears bubble and pop, my nose mucus drips freely. Mm, yummy. Alright, well, we know where the rocket is already. In Technopolis. It is time. It's time for us to head off. I'd be sad to say goodbye to this game. But I will still be 100% of it in my own time. <laughs> Hey guys, you charge those guys, Mr. Robbie. Good charging, good work. Proud of you. Doing, doing God's work there, charging all the robots. <laughs> Something like that. Alright, I'm ready to go. Send me to the moon, baby. Are you boarding? Yes. Be my guest. It's moon time. Bye, shambles. Or king, whichever one you are, I don't even know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's one hell of a firework. <laughs> we perfected it all right, Jesus. It's pretty nuts. I remember you guys. Are you guys coming with us? The rockets too? Well that one's not, he's dead. We made it. Well, to space, not to the moon yet. Come on moon, we got this. I have a feeling we're not going to get a chance to finish up anything we've missed without reloading a save or something. I'm not only auto save, so I might have to play through the whole game again, 100%. Alright, well, how far is this, uh, how far is this moon? Stage 2 rocket now. Why are these guys coming with us? Do I know them? Like, I've seen the one flying around the town, but... Who controls them? And why? <laughs> oh, it's got the... It's got the... It's got... Hagar's 
badge thing on it. I mean, they're obviously his, but one of them didn't make it. <laughs> Am I doing it? Am I meant to control? No. Just waiting. Just waiting. Just waiting for moon landing. That's cool. Not in a hurry. Shouldn't really need to keep the uh, propulsion up, really, since we're in space now. I need the propulsion to gain speed. But whatever. <laughs> I mean, it was a firework, I guess you can't turn it off again. What is gonna happen? It's faintly disturbing. <laughs> hmm? Come in, come in, do you copy? This is Dr. Steinhager. Listen good, Bobby. This rocket? It's programmed to navigate. Automatically into the moon's orbit. So don't touch anything, you break it. You got that, test monkey? Think of this rocket as my examination table. So be a good monkey. Relax. Stay seated. What the? There's something. The comm system. Did they lose another one of those probe thingies? Don't touch anything, you say. But I want to touch stuff. <laughs> This game is so relaxed. Even in a moment like this, you're just sitting there with your own thoughts, just chilling. We might die. This rocket might fall apart and we might die. But, uh, no reason to let it get to us. <laughs> Let's just chill. It's all good. This has been a long episode. I'm quite tired. <laughs> Hopefully I can cut it down to a reasonable length. You did get a lot done though. Nope, Hager's back. Come in, come in! This is Dr. Stein Hager. Listen good, Bobby. The main communication system is destroyed. When that barreloid exploded. The red barreloid is equipped with a backup antenna. This is the best I can communicate with you. Soon you'll pass beyond. The communication radius. You're now entering deep space. You've reached the limit of the Barreloid's range. What danger lurks beyond even I don't know. Huh? Careful Bobby. The ultrasonic radar is picking up. Obstacle. Object. Caution. Be careful. Uh oh. Whoa. It's not gonna hurt us, it's gonna kill the barrel <laughs> Man, that barrel is pretty nimble. I have no control, I can't do anything about this. It's the firework. How did he fire it this far up? There goes another barrel load.
that? Oh, it's you! You said you were going to space for a while. Bye, God! <laughs> this place is full of nutters. God, I'm sure you can figure it out yourself, you're God after all. I could type a whole lot of like, cornflakes on you or something. Rice bubbles? Porridge? Something that goes well with milk? Uh. What's happening? Green thing. <laughs> Florence! It's been a while, Bobby. Soon your journey will come to an end. When one journey ends, another journey begins. You're crazy, Florence. But thank you. Oh, here comes another one. Life is like one night's dream. Waking and sleeping, birth and death. Many things appear and vanish. What has vanished appears. You and I are no exception, Bobby. I see you're doing it quite regularly here. Yeah. Here he comes again. Throughout the universe, everything dies and is born. Life rolls on down the road. Bye, Florence. Oh man, he's coming back again. Come oh, on, I just want to get to the moon. It did say four days though. The question is. When you wake from the dream, when will you set out toward another dimension? Will you be able to open the door, Bobby? Soon you will reach our final destination. Perhaps we will meet again at the side of some road. Goodbye, Bobby. That's right, the thing's estimated four and a half days, so I guess it's actually taking four and a half days game time. Which is quite a while, you know. I'd say it's a good half an hour. <laughs> Ish. Uh oh. What the hell? Oh, it's the hero! Yeah, air trouble indeed. Well, our ear is falling out. That is trouble. Stupid ass hero. Oh, thank god. You guys don't need oxygen, huh? Lucky. Is the hero inside our ship then? We need to deal with him, we need to like drop his ass into space. Welcome? To the moon? <laughs> yep, welcome to the moon. Now what though? 
Like we made it to the moon. <laughs> we made it to the moon, but now what? Like, what was the point? Oh, it's all the cells of the animals we saved. Oh, Bobby, nice to see you can make it. We've all been waiting for you right here. Looks like we collected enough love to fly across the cosmos. Looks like your love level is love CEO. That's incredible. Oh now, the master eagerly awaits you. Please go to the moon castle. Okay. I'll do that. <laughs> well, what about the gate? What's that for? I apologize if this is an exceptionally long episode. Oh, it's you! Oh, what a curse this is. Please help my mask. Welcome, Bobby. Welcome, Bobby. To the end of dream of the dream that Bobby, the invisible boy, will visit. And to the last dungeon for Bobby, the hero. Welcome to the Dragon Castle. I need your help, Bobby. In a moment, the hero will enter and kill me. Please help, Bobby. Soon the Rum Rums will bury us. The Rum Rums tell the stories of two individuals. Which of those stories contains the true ending? Will Bobby vanquish the dragon? Or will Bobby open the door? Who decides the future? Your love determines the answer. The time has come, Bobby. Go forth unto the lunar wasteland. The door of light, at present unopenable beneath a mountain of rum roms. However, one so boldly loveful as to transcend such deep space must be able to open it. Open the door with your love, and then reclaim the light of the moon. Hey, Bobby, I'll guide you to the door. Right this away, please. Look at all those rum roms. It's a whole lot of rum rums. I really want to go decrypt all of them. But uh, clearly we don't have time for that, and I can't get back anyway. Oh man, so many rum rums. So you can open the door right away, huh, Bobby? According to the prophecies recorded on the rum rums strewn around here, only an invisible boy grabbing with love can open the door. It is written that when this door opens, the moon will reclaim its shimmery flint. Yes, yes, now stand before the door. Yes, now please, open the door, Bobby. Bobby, you can do it. Go, go, Bobby. Huh? What the heck is going on? I have to open the door or the dragon will die. Are you saying the door won't open? That's how it seems, yeah. <sighs> Your Highness, my gravest apologies. Bobby can't open the door. This is bad, bad, bad news. What do I do? Data. Lifestyle of Flora. Runs a flower shop. Loves flowers. Sweet of heart. Lives in the attic at Wonderspur. I guess I'll go back and... Maybe I need to collect all the animals? Otherwise I'll get a bad ending or something? Looks bad to me. Looks like a bad time. Well, let's see what the king has to say, I suppose. You know, before the hero comes here and murders him. Why? Why indeed? The door did not budge. Is Bobby's love not suffice to open the door? Bobby's love is yet unripe. It is too soon to open the door. The door did not open. The door did not open. Is this fate too foretold in the rum rums? This is most unfortunate, Bobby. Your inability to open the door has itself steered the flow of the future in a bad direction. Whatever will happen now? Oh, oh, oh! I hear the sound of the hero's... the hero Bobby's approaching footsteps. What do I do? Oh man, we're gonna get a bad ending. He's coming to murder us. Wow, I got pretty dizzy. Oh yeah, that's some wooziness. Wow. So this is the moon, huh? People of the moon, glad to humbly make your acquaintances. 
My name is Yoshida. So where's Bobby? Anyone seen Bobby? Come on out, pal. Uh-oh. Here he comes. But we just saved these guys. He's making them more powerful. Wow, who and what the heck are you? What do you think you're doing, Freako? No way. Ah, oh, hey, forget this. I'm out of here. The more people we save, the stronger he's going to be. It just gives him more things to kill. Levels real easy. <laughs> Even my whale friend suck, man. And so this is it. So it's finally come to this. That when the Invisible Boy story ends, so too ends the story of the hero. Could it be that when we decoded the records of the Rum Rums? Even in seeking the help of the invisible boy, we were simply walking a preordained path? It is too late. It is much too late. For some reason my fate was missing from the rum rums. Only now do I finally understand. Bobby, buddy! The hero, the hero is here! He's at maximum level! Wow, he looks strong! We killed all our friends again. I spent ages saving them. Goodbye, Bobby. Come on, that was a person. Bobby, love CEO. Thus concludes the story of the hero and the dragon. Is this the end of all stories? No, the Rum Rums tell of another Bobby, whose tale is unfinished. If he had more love than any level, level number could express, perhaps even the records of the Rum Rums could be rewritten. Do not forget, Bobby, when next you see the door before your eyes, open the door with your love itself. Open the door. Please open the door. Open the door, Bobby. Play that game and go to bed. Is that the bad ending? Did I just get the bad ending? I feel like we got the bad ending. <laughs> so we need to get all the love, otherwise we can't get the good ending. Continue. Yes. Of course continue. I can't let it go there. <laughs> Sorry man, I'm gone. In. God damn it. Well that seems like a bad ending to me. Well I guess I'll wrap this one up here. I may even have to cut this into two bits to make it palatable length, but uh, I guess I'm going to have to reload and use a guide to get all the love that we can so that we can actually get a good ending, I guess. So that it because Judith, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting out for me and I'll see you in the next one.
Okay, sorry, this was recorded the next day, but I thought I'd tack this on at the end here because I decided to look it up to see if I was going to have to play through the entire game again or, or what I was going to do. Apparently what we need to do here is click no to continue, um, and then sit through the credits to get the good ending. So, uh, let's do that. Open the door, that door, that's what it means. Go outside and play, I suppose. There you go, we open the door. Just like, just like the, the king kept saying. And the dragon. Whatever. King of the moon. Is that a toilet door? <laughs> I think I get the message now. <laughs> I think the game is telling me to stop playing games and go outside. So clicking yes to continue is the bad ending. That's funny because any other time you would think Saying no, I do would not like to continue is, is the bad ending. Well, some of you are still alive. Not many, but some. Well, we did it. We opened the door. That's what they wanted. We saved whoever was left after the hero went crazy and murdered everybody again. Well, those monsters are dead again, though, still. I'm real sad about that. We put a lot of work into saving them. I'm glad that we got the actual proper ending as well, though. And we didn't have to perfect the game for it. That's fantastic. Alright, I'm gonna let the credits roll, as we always do at the very end. Um, I know for a fact this time that there is a post-credit scene, or something along those lines. Um, because I looked up how to get the, uh, the good ending. But I will bring you back at that point, and I'll let the song play out.
Thanks for playing, huh? Crazy. That ending reminded me just how good the soundtrack in this game was. If it, if it is not available on Steam, it's a crime. Developers, please, please make it available on Steam. The soundtrack. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, man. Man, what a trip. How long is it going to wait? I think there's going to be more. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more. Aha! I knew it. Did you find love? I'm scared to stop it in case... Oh, see you someday, somewhere. Stop playing that game and turn it off now. I had a feeling that was the uh, that was the underlying message we were going for. Alright, well I've given it a few minutes now and it doesn't seem to be changing anymore. So that looks like it's going to be it. That is the good ending. We did it. We beat Moon. We didn't 100% it, but we absolutely beat it. And it was definitely, I'm glad that they re-released it in English so, so long after it was released. It's so good. It's like, I don't know, it's both, it's somehow nostalgic even though I've never played it before. You know what I mean? I don't know how that works. Maybe just the look of it and everything. Kind of felt like a, I don't even know what system it was originally released on. It felt like a PS1 game, I suppose. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Those few of you that did watch it, I hope you enjoyed uh, the playthrough as much as I enjoyed playing it because it's different. It's definitely different. I really, really enjoyed that. And I could see uh, some of the inspiration behind uh, Undertale behind it, as I'm sure you can as well. Glad I played it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.